How do we kill these guys? We can overcome this guy. Jack! More a terror of the peaks action. Oh, oh, thank you to whoever pointed out in the comment section of the last YouTube video last time that I should play Terror of the Peaks, where of course, whenever another creature ends a battlefield under your control, Terror of the Peaks is damage equal to that creature's power than a target together with Skewed Swarm, which has a tendency to double itself a lot. And then I thought to make it, you know, even more for the lulls, we add in Nihiris Lithoforming, sacrifice X land for each land, sacrifice this way, draw a card. But then I thought, can I make it even more? Bonkers. Well, if we add in Korvald, it's gonna double the draw from Lithoforming because whenever we sacrifice something, we also draw a card, which means it's easily gonna be able to put down our lands, easily gonna be able to put down a lot of skewed ones, and Korvald gonna get huge. So we might have an alternate win con here. We can just Castle's Fury fling our Korvald, and of course, Castle's Fury is also a land, so it works with skewed one. Everything just. <laughs> And then just the usual land things. We have Cultivate, Rolling Regrowth, which also sacrifices, triggers Korvald. Uh, Rada to find a land on top, only one. So don't do double draw on that guy. Or oh girl. Tangle for Hedron, which is also a land. Lotus Cobra to get the Nanas. Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. Well, we've seen the Yeruda laser. But what can the Korvald laser do, I ask you? Can it do better? Can it do worse? Korvald, Lotus Cobra, Lotus Cobra, Cultivate. That's looking. Pretty amazing, if you ask me. Pretty amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Load score. If we can get that to stick, and we probably can, since we're we'll playing white here, some life game deck maybe. If we can get that to stick for one turn, that would be very nice. Then we can get. Let's see here. Put down another Lotus Cobra, get four manas, cultivate. Oh, that could be so good. Just don't kill. Oh, we can't. Oh, we can. We can exile it and create an angel instead. I don't think there's anything else. Unless it's tapped, he can't kill it with white. Right? Now we can exile it with the, the three mana. That thing is called. What's that, what's that thing called? The, the enchantment that exiles any permanent. Uh, with Cobra Marcos. I did, no, 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 it doesn't care about Commander Margaret. I was thinking about the two mana glass caskets, but that's not the one. That's not the one. That's not the one at all. Okay, fetch with this. Cultivate. Ba bam. Ba bam. Ba green. Ba, ba dash. Ba cultivate. Uh, let's see here. Forests and the mountain. No, wait, 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 we need black <laughs> so, yeah, uh, We need black, but it's okay. Because we can't even play Corval this turn. So we're gonna put down the mountain next turn. Unless he board wipes. And then I'm gonna be very sad that I didn't search for a black. Okay. Does he board wipe? Oh, what's the card name though? Three mana exile. Exile stops. Okay, well, anyways. Anyways, doesn't even matter. Black, green, I think we tap this also, put down the Florahedron first, and then we play Corval, I think. Yes, this is fine, because we want to sacrifice that to Corval. We want to have something to sacrifice. Corval? Master of Magics! Untangled Flora Hedron will fall unless there's a removal spell. I still think it, it couldn't be any instant ones. Unless it's that exile and great an angel. Could be, I guess. I think it's sitting up with the possibility of gaining three life points or something. Maybe kill something if it's tapped. Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to attack. The thing is, he probably has one of those destroy target tap creatures. And we want to get absolute value with this first. Absolute bonkers amount of value. If at all possible. Okay. Ow! Oh, that's fine. That doesn't matter. 
That doesn't matter at all, actually. Okay. So we play this Tangle Florahedron. Yeah, that seems good. Let's go, bro. Nahuris. Nahuris. Red, red, red. Red, red, red. You gonna be dead, dead, dead. Very, very soon, soon, soon. Shwink, shwink. Red. Okay, three. We have six mana, so we can do this for four. Which means we're also gonna draw a, a, a lot of cards from this, which is kind of nice. Now here is Lithoforming. One, two, three, four. We're gonna draw eight cards from this. We're gonna be able to play a lot of lands. Which will unfortunately all come into play tapped. But that's gonna be fine. Okay. Oh. Oh, what do you know? Oh, what do you know? No, no. Can we do this <laughs> Lithoforming again? We can't actually fling. Possibly we can fling the Corbin. You can play four lands this turn, which is kind of good when you have three Lotus Corbus. Kind of good. Hopefully it stays in there. Yep. We're getting the manas. <laughs> Corbin's getting kind of big. Kind of big. Okay, red. Oh, play this also. Boink. Uh, yeah, some more. Because why not? Swink! Swink! Uh, we could cultivate also, which is also gonna give us manas, so let's do that. Because they pay for themselves, essentially. Swink! The problem is... <laughs> do we even have enough lands left in the deck? I don't know. I don't know if we do. It's a little bit scary to go for that lithium forming. I'll take a black also. Why not? Cultivate! Yep. Okay. More malas. I think we go for it. I think we go for it. We have so much malas. I think we can go off this turn. Probably finishing him off. Uh, okay, so a 10, 11. So we can sacrifice 11 lands. We can't. 1, 2, 3. How many do we have? 4, 8. So we have 8 lands, okay? I mean, we get some malas left over, okay? Sacrifice 8 lands. That's all the lands we have. Okay, we're gonna draw a lot there. This guy's gonna be kind of huge. Gonna be kind of huge. Yep. Yep. That's all the skills for us, so that's pretty cool. Got Solus Fury. 15! 16! Well, we need some manas back, so let's. Uh, we can play 8 lands this turn. Which is pretty kind of nice. Nux is just staying in there. While we are completely going over. Yep. I thought that he cannot fetch anything more. Because we've already fetched every land we have in the deck, but. Irrelevant, I say. Completely irrelevant for what we're doing here. Okay. Uh, we need to. Let's see here. We need to deal 20 damage, so. We need to do another Nahiris Lithoforming for 3. Yep. And then we can just fling the Corval to his face and deal 20 damage. In one turn. Yep. I mean, he's gotta be a little bit impressed by this, though. A little bit impressed. 19. And 20. Okay. Kasul's Fury. Face. Corval. And 20 damage. Hope you don't have a life game. <laughs> <laughs> Not that much. Okay. Okay, it worked out. Got him. 20 damage. <laughs> a lot of tap lands, but we could potentially go Kasul's Fury turn 1. Turn 2 Fable Passage, unless we find a green. Turn 3 Lotus Cobra, put down Swamp, which doesn't make us able to play anything. Ah, I think it's gonna work out. Somehow, some way. 108 cards, okay. Pretty sweet. What was he rocking here? Temple of Le Plenty. Get milled. No, no, no. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, so we might get the skewed swarm laser. We need a dragon, though. One of the dragons. Could really get the laser going, but. 
But, 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 but. Way Zusa. Temple of Le Plenty. What style of deck will this be? Will this be some kind of control deck? Will it have creatures? I'm gonna just go ahead and guess it has either cats or dogs, or it's gonna be things which add plus cards or some things. Just guessing here. My way, Sousa! He's timing out there a little bit. But he's surely gonna be able to figure out how to put down the second land, I think. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Okay, we figured out the Roman Trial. That was uh, quite a mighty play, I must say. Lotus Canobras and the bird of Mushletus. Mushletus. Okay. And Sanctum Tracker Light. It probably has a board wipe. Probably has a board wipe. So I think I will cultivate without the skills one. Just yes, two. Let's see here. Put down a forest. Let's see. We don't. Oh, we have the swamp banana. Okay. Well, then it's fine. Put down the forest. Get another manas. And we can't do manas. There we go. Okay, another birth of Malatus. Well, it didn't have the board wipe at least. So, can we play Tower of the Peaks and Skew Swarm? We fetch, we get. Nah, we don't get enough. So, I think. I just put down the skewers one like this. And then next turn I go for both the terror and the skewers. And I don't even want to play, or do I want to play Roiling Regoth? Uh, I think he's got a board wipe. I think it's, I think I think it's fast. And then we have a second salvo with the terror. After his board wipe. I think that's the way to go. Favorite passage? Mm hmm. If there's two board wipes though. We can done. And we can done. That's but conquer though. Takes away the skewed swarm. Oh, that's fine. So that's absolutely fine. Absolutely lootly. Fine. So if we can play this, we can get three manas from the fable passage. Oh, but we want to use the laser also. Ah, but it's better to play in this one. Yeah. Skewed Swarm. Fetch with this. That's a green. Fetch again. Fetch a red. And get another red. Fortunately, we didn't really. We weren't really able to use the laser. But if it doesn't have a board wipe now, he surely has a board wipe. If it doesn't have a board wipe, we get it. He probably has a board wipe though. Does he have it? Oh no, Croxa, that's perfect. That's absolutely amazing. Doesn't do anything. Swamp. Oh wait, we need <laughs> we need the swamp for our big dude, but that's okay. Because this is gonna be a laser. This is gonna be damage. And that's just the beginning. That is just the beginning. Yep. And a green. And a roiling regrowth. Ooh, my lord! <laughs> this is gonna be. It's gotta be good! Yeah, that's 18 damage. That's 18 damage. Yep. We were very lucky that it didn't have a board wipe though. Very, very. Steve! <laughs> Lurus of Dream then. I think we can handle this. Not an amazing hand at all. But we just draw into any business and this gotta be good, I think. We have the land, skip it. We have the lands. Now all we need is the business. I mean, we kind of want to draw like this. We kind of want to draw ramp first, then the big dudes, right? Planes. Put the follow crater. Sure. Oh, look at this skewed swarm. That's good. That's very good. Steve. Lurus McGreeb then. Put the crater. So this seems to be the cycling deck. Very much. We don't have any life gains, so we need to kill him faster than he kills us, and he doesn't have a lab. It might be one of those versions where he runs like almost no lands. Like where he runs, I don't know, 10 lands or something, and almost <laughs> exclusive cycling cards. 
could be the case. That would be a pretty decent check, I'm saying. That would be pretty nice. Be pretty nice, I say. It's also good that he probably can't kill our terror of the peaks. Probably. I mean, don't know for sure, but seems highly likely he can't. Forest. And the Shwamp. And next turn, go for the Terror of the Peaks. And then Skewed Swarm. Start the lasering. <laughs> you still stuck with one land. Come on, Steve. We need more lands in the deck. Need more lanes, sir. Need more lanes. I wonder if these uh, cycling decks can't benefit from playing a lot of these uh, things which are both lands and have a spell effect. I mean, they can't cycle them. But he can at least avoid getting this. Because now he's not doing much of it. Okay. Gets a Fabled Passage. Very happy about that. Probably red now. Be my guess. Yep. Here it comes. Flourishing Fox. Ah, smacks in. Well. Terror of the Peaks. Next turn. Sir. Next turn we're going off. That's it, we have five lands on the perfect setup for this cute one. Absolutely perfect. Hopefully it doesn't have there's like one spell which which can kill the terror of the peaks, which has in his deck, and that's the uh, the four mana spell which is looking for. Which is called Helix something? Lightning Helix? No, it's not called Lightning Helix. That's the thing which deals three damage and gain three life. Old card. Uh it's I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. It's way too many cards. Manic, way too many. We need Stinger. Buffs him up. I think we're gonna have to uh, take that flourishing fox damage. Okay. Well, I think he's gonna be sad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flourishing fox, no blocks. Take it. Ooh, roiling regrowth also. Oh, oh, oh. So if we play this, and we deal that one damage in space, and we fetch with this, and we deal one damage in space, and we Roiling Regrowth, I think it dies though. So that's gonna be about a million damage, also. Yes, fetch, fetch, Roiling Regrowth. Mm. Bunk, bunk. Yeah, that would be done. A lot of triggers. A lot of triggers. I feel like Landfall is the only deck I can play where I don't lose and where I don't have sweepers. Like, every other deck needs sweepers, but Landfall is just so strong. You don't even need it. Just combo and win. Combo and win. Combo and win. This hand is probably kind of bad, I was the only thing that this hand has going for it is the cultivate. <sighs> nah. Nah. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, Ship Castle's Fury, probably. Yeah, we have a pretty decent hand, would say. With the Lotus Cobras into a cultivate. Actus Rus. I'll save. I've seen that guy before. I'll we'll go with the forest. We'll see what to call him a leader. Let's figure it out. Actus Rus. Okay. Should I guess that he. Oh, no, no. He has red. I thought it was mono white. He's gonna guess boxes. Oh, yes. Yes. He just went face with that. That's amazing. That's absolutely ridiculously amazing. Because then he doesn't probably kill the load scope. I wonder why he did that, though. Anger. Anger issues. Join the dark side, I'll say it. Join the dark This guy is not joining the dark side. My god, this guy is enjoying his... Seed? <laughs> Wheat? What do you call this? <laughs> Don't call it seed, you call it wheat! It, it, actually, in, uh, in Swedish... Sad, the slog. It, it, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna go too deep on this. I think Actus Roost, that what you want to do is attack with Alcide, life's bounty. It's gonna go ahead and. Uh, oh! 
Make a bold statement, okay? But he did also. He might have two of these bomb crashes. Or he might be super sad now that he sees the Lotus Cobra. So one or the other. Three mana, okay. Ooh, he might have his own. Pickly pickles. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yes. Okay, so we can get two from this. We can get four manas next turn. Doesn't matter which one we play, we get four manas anyway. So we probably do cultivate. No buckler rumors, no? We are, um, okay. I'll play this. Get a manas. And cultivate. See if this goes off. It does, green. Cultivate. Search for a black and search for a green, maybe? We have red in hand, so. A black, green, but can't use it for anything, so. Pass turn. Pass alternio! Actus Rus. Let's see here. Next turn. You can play Korvald. Sacrifice a land, probably. Let's see if it isn't. Not amazing, but decent. Okay, now it gets bomb rushed. Okay, so we drew it, I guess. And I'll say it's back in. Hmm. Okay, okay. Well, it's not ideal, really, to sacrifice a land, but I'll do it. If I have to, I'll do it. It doesn't need a blue, at least. Not so far. Okay, does he have an instant? Can he drop it? I don't think so. And when he attacks, or enters battlefield, I need to sacrifice a permanent. Forest? Come on now, find something good. Oh, it's one of these games. Next, I know we can Fable Passage to draw another card. Really good. Hopefully, it doesn't have a removal of this. Uh, he could have a board wipe. That's good. Okay. Does this do? Cat attack or block? Now I know, I didn't know that before. Okay. Well, what we can do. We can sacrifice it because so does Fjord. We can fetch with this. And draw a card. Can he sacrifice himself? I don't think so. I would be surprised if he can. Uh, we can Souls Fury into his face. We can play another Korobold. But then we need to sacrifice another land. I just don't feel like flinging that into his face. So maybe I just put down the Lotus Cobra and keep up this as an instant in case it does something. Then I shoot something with it maybe? I could be fine. Could absolutely be fine. Dance about the field, you gain four life. Also. Okay, the storm. Oh, wait, I should have. In that case, I should have flinged it, definitely. Or should I, though? Six damage. Maybe it's not even worth it, actually. Maybe it's not even worth it. Well, on you. Sacrifice the forest. Okay, I think we drew a little bit too many lands here. A little bit. Oh, maybe. Oh, I should have flinged the snake instead. That's what I should have done. I should have flinged the snake for two damage because then I would have drawn another card. Essentially cycling Castle Fury. That would be good. That would be really good. Really, really good. Really, really good. Don't we'll crash the giant. Okay. It's a counter on there. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Heos! Heos! Okay, I will also almost empty out everything for the deck that I want me. Okay, smack him with you. Now I'm gonna sacrifice one of these battles. Card, deal six damage. Ooh! Oh, and Tyro the Beats! I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. This probably has gonna board wipe again. It's a giant deck, Naya Giants. But this also giant. Giant deck, okay. He has Trample and Vigilance. Well, it can deal a little bit of damage, but I don't think I mind that too much, honestly. Ah, I'll take it. 
take it. That's not a problem, I think. This here, sir. <laughs> sir! This will be problem. Uh, okay, we can deal three damage. I think we kill the crystalline giant, actually. One, two, a three. And then we smack in with Korvald. Sacrificing this. Throwing another card. Okay. And we just keep up Kazoo's Fury. In case we might need it. In case. We can now fling it to his face. Need to. <laughs> and then he smacks in Realm Cloak, surely. Surely smacks him with this. Oh, he smacks him with both, okay. I think I don't want to randomly die to some... Oh wait, he's dead in the air, isn't he? He is, yeah, he's dead. Because we have Kazoo's Fury also, so all we need to do is attack him. Nothing has reached yet. Oh, and another one. Okay, we need to do this first, though. <laughs> we need to do this first. Face! Face! And face! And... Not these guys. Wink! Sacrifice permanent, sacrifice this. Card. Deal the damage. Bonk! Oh, that was lethal. <laughs> Didn't even need all these Kassil's Cross. Got him! Go him! Ah! This hand is, uh... Not good. I mean... I like this hand much better. I like this hand much better. I would like to explore this hand, I think. I think Kassul's Fury can go. But then a Tangled Flora had run. And I've gone out of land. Something. What is that? Anointed Chorus. This seems to be a quite a popular card as of late. I mean, it's common. Easy to get. And this has lifelink. Overpowered ability. Could be the case. Oh, it's so much play. Okay. Forest and lights promise. Oh, we got a double every turn. That's gonna go bonkers really soon. In the past. Uh, uh, I think we wait with crack in that land. Crack it next turn. This guy's gonna be a four for next turn, but we can block him for a long time. It's gonna be difficult to kill with tower the big stone. I don't mean when we go off with this deck. Go off for realsies. But if you gain life, put that many plus cards on him. Okay, well. Ah, uh, pretty fast though. Okay. 15. It's up to 6-6. It's six, six. getting very dangerous. You can put on this. Get a green. El Scutios El Swarmio. Fetch with this. For a red. And get a green. Patch with this. For a black. Get a green. Roiling regrowth. Sacrifice the tangled. Get double forest. Green. Green. Roiling regrowth. Sacrifice a forest. Get double forest. Oh wait, we need the red. Oh, we get it next time. Green, green, and we actually don't have anything more we can do. Actually, that's unfortunate that I didn't search for red there. Ah, oh, it's fine. It's fine. We can roll in regrowth, get a lot of dudes, but hmm, will still be not perfect. Let's promise. Oh, <laughs> if we can give these guys flying, we're so dead. He's so dead. Well, this guy's gonna be huge. Anointed Chorister is going in there. I mean, in a deck like this, he surely has a way of gaming them flying. Surely. I mean, any deck with death touch, you'll be gone. Be dead. Okay. Is he not attacking with that? Okay, he is. Well, that's gonna grow to 16 16 now. And it's gonna be quite huge also. Yep. Yep, that, that is kinda big. That's kinda big. 
So, we can actually put down... I think here's what we do. We put down this. That's gonna trigger a lot of things. Get a red. Play the Terror of the Peaks. And hope he doesn't kill it. And then Roiling Regrowth next turn. And is that gonna be enough to kill him? Probably not. No, it's not gonna be enough. It's just gonna trigger this two times. We're gonna get a lot of skewed swarms. A lot of them. Like, seriously, a lot of them. But it's not enough to kill this guy. Not by a long shot. Not by a long shot. Okay, hell you Yep. Yep. More counts on there. I mean, they are big enough for doing essentially anything. That's not the problem for him. The problem for him is that he can't just attack on the ground like this. He needs to take the air. Okay. Blocked by a small insect. Every time. Okay. Boom. Well, we... Yeah. How, how do we kill these guys? They're freaking ginormous. They're absolutely ginormous. Well, can do this at least. Uh, sacrifice the forest. Search for a mountain. Mountain, maybe? That's it. 14 triggers. That's not enough to kill anything. Actually, we need more. We don't have enough yet. We can bring down his life total somewhat, but he can just heal up next turn. Okay. Yep. A lot of triggers, though. Yep. So soon we'll get the Lotus. But the next Roiling Regrowth. That one's gonna be good. That one's gonna be real good, I think. Corval. Fake Cursed King. Okay. Side like this. Draw another card. Oh, we haven't played a land this turn, by the way. <laughs> by the way. Okay, 19 triggers. That's still not enough. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, yep. But we are uh, increasing in damage a lot with every move we make here. Okay. Ah. <laughs> now we shot something with muted on the skewed swords, so we dealt a little bit more damage. But I mean, the next land. Oh my god, the next land is gonna deal a lot of damage to him. Ah. But it's not enough still. <laughs> okay. Your turn, sir. Your turn. 36. 30, uh, 33, 36, and a 36, 36. That's gonna be even bigger after this. Even bigger. You just give this Nexus Warden's lifelink an attack in there. And there will be nothing I can do about that. Okay. Well, I could potentially kill the anointed chorister <laughs> with all my skewed swarms. Potentially, maybe it's even a good idea. To bring in Korvald and 30... 30 swarm dudes. Kill the anointed chorister. Ah, this guy is gonna be huge anyways. I think we just do this. It's gonna be difficult. Kill this guy. Okay, 91. We can do it. We can do it. These guys, yeah, they're getting huge. But we can do it. We can get through this, everyone. We can overcome this guy. Okay. Okay, cultivate. That's not the worst of cards. I'll take that. Okay. How much damage is this, then? I mean, we are dealing that damage. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, 71 triggers. That's actually lethal. <laughs> Not getting out of this one. Come on. Resolve. I use that mana. No! Stop! 
Seven. Six. Five. He should con concede when he has two HP. <laughs> Do not get, let me get the win off. I will concede. This is the perfect time to concede. If you want to. First, the perfect BM time to concede. Got him! That's pretty fast. Hey everyone, I'm back again. We are the genius! Number shout out, actually. Number shout out. Number shout out. Thank you everyone so much for watching. And a special thank, of course, to all our members on the Patreons and on the YouTubes. Uh, if you also want to become a member, by the way, check out the join button next to the subscribe button or check out my Patreon link in the description. Thank you so much too! Adam Alexis, Simon Lauer, Rodney Cox, The Soft Pillow, Nathaniel Lister, Lazy Set Stun, Michael W, Topless Investments, Peter Gold, Sean Stevens, Gabriel Juvenal, Wayne, Messi McGuan, Your Old Basses, Tai Tai, Eli Moonlight, Sock, Drake 2000, Rassi Fark, Invoke Legion, John Dominion, Gesasaki, Own77, Ellie Curtis, Noah BH, MC Hermes, Fumiaki Kinoshita, J Cap, Steve Gaminskis, Kyrus of Zero, Tim Dutton, Jake Danley, The McDunkin, Relegan, Chase Close, Hansa Cost, Agony Reborn, Ramen Newells, me, Netherbex, Musketeer, Name the Epithet, Dear Lurgo, Dimlet Nike, Stricker Mike, Huan Tu Ying, Channel Fatal Load, Adam Nixon, Ninja Astral, Optimus, Poki Yu, Medic Pistol Man, Seppi 1310, Martin Newman, Kevin Loiskill, that's Mr. Got You, Jake Palmer, Thomas Schwartz, Kyle Hoff, Yuri Robinson, Robert Montgomery, Salem Proctor, Zach Coyle, QGL889, some call me George, Paris Hammond, Bill Murray, Kyle Wedgwood, Patrona Bavaria, Robert Barker, Adam Jacob, Fernando Visu, Robert Lewis, Dr. Leos, Santa John, Geek, General Educator, Embracer of Knowledge, Joseph Suninga, Nate TMI, Shamanix, <laughs> Matthias Porlet, DJX Disorder, Carlos Ardines, Simon Fairley, Ivan Miller, William Cunningham, Kevin Yunye One, Limmy Lainson, John Sillier, Silver, AD Sibriosis, Yuri Lepikov, Isabel Nemi Lindfors, DJ D Star in the mix, Link is Week, Verokta, Dan Goodsell, Aaron Noble, Drew Styles, Adam Alexis, Matthew Goggins, Batsuma, Serge Carmoro, Freeman Stephson, Brandon Dobbs, DBK Drummer, Rainbow Cake, Vantam Tanta, Piotr Stalorch, Ninja Longham, Infinite Drog, Dr. Jaden, Javier Diaz, Adam Root, Barb McKenley, But With Us, 7 Guys 777, Big Bob MG, Patrick Henning, Liquidy, e, Thanatos, Nesmoth, Joe Mann, Yellow Beans, Patrick Parks, Martin Newman, Jonathan Burgess, James Hazel, Harshit Singh, Ethan, Alexander G. Valencia, Lochinator, Travis Markley, Grinning Demon, Frank Show, The Foreign Sky, The Squires, I Ate My Neighbor, Utah Yase, Christopher Tonkin, Gudulape Hernandez, Bam Bam, Kevin C, Yoda for Sale, Trunks 305 in KC, Michael Brown, Mark Rutledge, Amber Parrot, Jacob Herrer, Rick Mr. Joe, Victor William Beer, Kleiner Dackel, and Dr. Bosky. You guys are amazing. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you also. Your bed shoulder is a big one. <gasps> what is that? What is that? <laughs> More videos? <laughs> Did not work. <laughs> Did not work. Also, you can check out my Patreon link down below. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. And see you tomorrow.